Hello, welcome again to our Laravel series. So from the previous video, we learned how to install Laravel using Composer. And now we're gonna going to take a look at the files and folder structure of Laravel. And after that, we're gonna declare some routes, especially name routes and group routes. So let's start. I have now here my app open in VS Code. So let's take a look first on the .env file. So this is just a simple text configuration file where we can define our database connection string. So by default, Laravel uses the MySQL, but we can change it uh, anything what we want. For example, we are using SQL Server or the Microsoft SQL Server. So let's change that one to SQL SRV or SQL Lite, I guess. Today, we're gonna leave it by default. And here we have the database host, which is the local host, and the DB port, which is 3306, and your database name, your database username, and your password. So let's just close this one. And next, let's expand the app folder. So the app folders, we're gonna touch only two folders here the models and the controller which is under http and controller so the newly created models or controllers will be stored here so if we want to find our models so let's go ahead on the app and models if we want to find our controllers let's go to app http and controllers so that's it and the third one is the resources so the resources this is the view or the page of our application so if you want to create a new page let's just go ahead to resources and views so let's create a new file here for example we have a file um, hello so the extension name should be blade.php so just a regular html like that for example Let's go ahead and type hello world. So save that one. So let's open this one later. So let's just move to the routes. So in the routes, we have four files here, the api.php, channels, console.php, and web.php. So among the files here, we only need to touch the web.php. So this is the file where we declare our different routes for our application. Okay. So let's just go ahead and run our app first using php artisan serve. Hit enter. So server running on localhost with port 8000. So let's open this one in our browser. So let's type localhost port 8000 and here we are our laravel app is running so let's create our first route so as you can see i we created a hello.blade file so let's just return this one and create a route first so let's just go ahead and copy this one and paste and here we need to change the route name so let's let's rename it with hello so slash hello and let's return the view which is the hello that blade so we don't need the extension name let's just uh, put the file name directly and let's access this in our web so let's type hello and hit enter and there you go we created our first route with laravel and now uh, let's create more copy paste uh, for example we have another route here called um, my name save and we can also return a plain text here, for example. My name is Jim. Uh, 
let's go ahead and save that one and let's go back to our browser and change the route that we created so my name so here we go we just displayed a simple text from our views and let's create an, uh, more for example we have books here books so let's return displaying our books and let's create one books so for example we are retrieving a specific book id so in that case we need a uh, name routes so the books id is uh dynamic because uh, we don't know what kind of book or what is the book ID that we are fetching so we can do that by the name routes so here I'm just using a curl brace and let's just put anything here for example ID and let's require this ID so let's also put an, a variable here called ID and we can we can now have the ID access here so displaying the book with ID ID so let's change this one to double code so that the string inter interpolation will work there you go so let's test that one on our browser so let's change our route books here for example if we enter this route so let's say for example let's display all the books and if we click one of those books, so for example, we click on the book with the ID 100, so we should get the data of the books for this specific book. Enter. So displaying the book with ID 100, for, yeah, it works. And we, you can change this, anything you want, for example, 200. So it should get the variable or the URL data, anything. So that's how you create your name route in Laravel. So we can also group our routes. For example, this is helpful when we are creating a crude uh, routes. Like this, for example, books. So we can group this one so that we don't manually declare these routes. So let me create a group route. Let's just create route, then group. And here we need to pass the group name so array so prefix is for example books function like that. so we can now copy this one I mean cut and move it inside our group route paste and this is already redundant so instead of slash book let's just delete this one and make it just slash and this one only like that so let's check if this is still working so let's gonna check first the books so it's work with ID it's also working so that's how you create a name route I mean a group route so let's go back to the hello that blade that PHP that we just created here so what if we want to access data from our URL or from our route so we just need to declare the data here so in our hello routes for example we are retrieving this name of name and let's pass also this one because this is a required one and if we want to pass a data to our views we just need to create 
a second parameter to the view function so go ahead and put comma and declare your data inside an array here so first value is your data name or the variable name for example my name and you assign on the right side its value so my name it can be anything so in our case the name should be on the url that's why we create a route uh, name routes here so let's just access this name variable save and let's now access the my name on the view so let's go ahead and go back to hello.grade and access the view uh, i mean the variable from routes so hello so when accessing uh, data from our routes we need to use the double curly brace this is this means to display something or to echo and let's now access the my name so save and let's go back to our web browser and check if it's working hello not found because we didn't declare for the hello routes we only declared the name routes for example my name is king allen let's enter that one and here we go we just captured the data from our url so if you want to change that one simple as that so i think that's all for now i hope you learned something new and on the next video let's learn how to create a controller and a models and even connecting to our database thank you